the artists, the brothers. Have you seen what's going on with us? Our women are most unmarried women in the world. It ain't because y'all ain't fine either. He don't want your kind. And trust me, you don't want him. Alone is better. Alone is better than being yoked up with a man who wish he was you. Welcome back, Warriors. It's me, Linda B. Thank you all so much for joining me here today. Today, guys, we got some Bishop Wooden. Again, yes, Bishop Patrick L. Wooden of the Upper Room Church of God in Christ in North Carolina. He is feeling the truth, and it has got some Black men really, really upset. You got to watch this to the end. But before we get into it, don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Now, let's get into it. The, the, the artists, the brothers... Have you seen what's going on with us? Our women are most unmarried women in the world. It ain't because y'all ain't fine either. He don't want your kind. And trust me, you don't want him. Alone is better. Alone is better than being yoked up with a man who wish he was you. You haven't seen cruelty. You haven't seen mistreatment. You haven't seen a mind game like what would be played on you then. Whoa. He said it's better to be alone than to be with a man that wish he was you. I see that happening. I see where he's going. (laughs) I see where you're going with this. And that is a shame. Because he's messed up. And he makes you think there's something wrong with you. Make you think you're dirty. When it's him, and you make yourself sick, baby, five times a day because he's convinced you that there's something wrong with you. When the it's the devil in him, this bastion of holiness, Judah is behaving just like adult idolatry ridden Samaria. Because you know when Jeroboam took over and started the northern kingdom, he started a whole new religious system. Set up a whole new system to keep the people from going back down to Jerusalem. So now the southern kingdom was supposed to be the holy place. And the northern kingdom was supposed to be the backslidden place. And look, you look at the northern and the southern and uh, both of them dance the same way. Both of them praised the Lord the same way. Both of them were living the same way. Now, this <laughs> caption over to the right here, it says, Wooden claim that some Black men don't prefer Black women as partners, specifically referring to men who might not be romantically interested in women at all. He warned women about entering into relationships with men who are not genuinely attracted to them, suggesting that these men could be deceptive and manipulative. Now, this is something that I've been hearing about at least 20 years going on with a lot of the men in urban areas, a lot of the black men being on the DL, on the download. These are men that are actually part of the alphabet community, but they are pretending they are straight, which is a problem for women. There are a lot of black women out here who want to be married, but they are encountering men that are already married, men that don't prefer black women, but other ethnicities of women. And the most heartbreaking out of all of them actually is men that don't want a woman at all they are really attracted to other men. And you have men out here pretending to be straight. And that is horrible. They are deceptive. They are manipulative. They have their day one day. Okay. And they, and, and I've heard about this for a long time, that Black women were struggling. Now, at the time I first heard about it, I was already married. Still am, thank God. But I, I, I just can't imagine. And going to downtown Atlanta, there. The, this was like more than 10 years ago. My husband and I went there for our anniversary and you just saw a whole bunch of black men holding hands, hooked up romantically. I saw that like everywhere I turned, 
everywhere I turned. The pagan practices of the Northern Kingdom with their false gods that brought in prostitution, perversion, and wickedness as a part of their worship had made their way like a petrifying sore. Uh, gangrene, it has spread to the southern kingdom to the point that uh, Micah said, I can't tell the difference. Some of us music, some of this worship, some of our dancing, and some of our behavior, and some of our style of dress, you can't tell the saint from the saint. Wow. You can't sometimes. Samaria and uh, Judah, you can't tell them apart. You know, it was in the Bible, did you? Oh my, you ought, to, well, you, ought, well, you ought to be able to at a glance. At least, at least if you're dealing with the sanctified church. Now the sanctified church used to take pride in at a glance. You could tell we were saved. But you know what happened in the sanctified church, mother? Mother, you ran into it. Yeah. Y'all got tired. I'm, we're tired of hearing about clothes. Yeah, they got tired. They want, we want to hear about something else. All right. Now, you know what you do? Soon you shift the subject to something else, the clothes get tight. So then you go back to the clothes. Well, we don't want to hear about clothes. <laughs> I got to say this, and I know I don't mean to pause so many times, but I remember I told you guys, if you've seen my video where I was talking about my husband and I used to belong to this Pentecostal slash holiness church, and they were very strict when we first began attending there decades ago that they were so, so strict on how women should dress. I mean, so strict. And I was abiding by it. I wore my long dresses to the ankles or way past my knees, at least way past my knees, loose fitting dresses, nothing tight at all, covered up. I thought I was covered up. You know, a lot of these churches are small churches and they're not they don't have a lot of money in those churches. They tend to ask for special donations a lot. And they had like window units. And I live in Georgia and it gets ultra hot. So one time I had a long dress, wasn't tight all the way to my ankles, no cleavage. Only my arms were showing and no cleavage was showing. You know, the dress just showed above, like right here, right below my collarbone. And I had on shoes where my toes were showing because it was summertime, the heat of summer with no AC in the building. And I was told that I was going to church like I was going to church at the beach because my toes were out. I mean, some places are really, 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 really strict. And to me, I was dressing appropriately. Another instance, uh, and I'll get back to the video, but you got to hear this. Another, that's why we have to be led by the spirit and make sure we're coming from a place of love and not just condemnation on people. Because I, another instance, it was like fall or winter. I had on an A-line dress that pulled away from my body and it was not tight. It was A-line and it went well past, it probably went to my calf muscles. So that's well past my knee. And I had on thick stockings, these ugly slide-in shoes with my toes covered, a jacket, a long, it was a blazer. Okay. No, no breast showing. It wasn't tight. Only just this part of my chest was showing. No cleavage at all was showing. Just want to make that clear. No cleavage at all. You could only see my face, <laughs> the, my neck right below my collarbone, my hands. And that was it. Everything was covered. And again, this dress was pretty long, well past my ankles, but around my calf muscle. And I remember being told during worship service, someone sent a note to me, a very nice note with a smiley face, but they were like, cover your chest up some. My chest was completely covered. The girls were covered. I don't mean, I, I mean, maybe they didn't want, even want that showing, but I'm just like, what? <laughs> you know, and I remember getting ready that day thinking, oh my gosh, I am completely covered. I know I am not revealing at all. I was convinced I was covered up enough, but to someone else, I was not. So I, I kind of understand the whole clothing thing because you're thinking you're covering up but someone else is more strict than you and they won't let you make the decision for your own body um, as far as how you dress. 
I ain't talking about the other stuff with your own body, but you know, <laughs> and it gets to be a little bit tricky. So we have to be led by the Holy Spirit and make sure we're walking in a place of not jealousy or condemnation, but just making sure, you know, I thought I was covered up enough, guys. And some of the older people, sometimes some of the younger people, that's not covered up enough. I'm like, oh my gosh. So tell me what you guys think about what I just said in the comments. Well, <laughs> y'all don't like, look how quiet you done got on me now. Oh God. Oh, praise the Lord. Yeah, just, just, and we don't want to hear about it. Why does, why does he talk about homosexuality so much? Have you seen the, 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 the choir? The average black choir in the black church? True. The, the, the artists, the brothers, have you seen what's going on with us? Give me a big hand. Telling you the truth. I'm telling you the truth. You get get abused and beaten and mistreated. And a good sign that he's messed up is his ability to just be cruel. Cruel. Walk around you five days, ten days, and say nothing. He's a sister. All in the house. Ain't got nothing to say to you. Mad. Men don't carry no grudges like that. Can't hardly make it past the first night. Lay down, you reach over there. <laughs> you, she don't want you to touch her, oh, man. You can't stay, man, you know. <laughs> you don't even know what you apologize for. I'm, uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> What'd you say? I'm sorry. Man can do that 10 days, 12 days, 30 days. I got to say this caption over to the right. It says the phrase, the hit dog will holler because some of these comments by Bishop Wood has sparked a debate on social media. The phrase hit dog will holler was used by some supporters of Bishop Wood's sermon, implying that the only men upset by his comments were those who felt personally attacked. These individuals argued that men secure in their masculinity wouldn't be offended by Wooden's message. Mm hmm. Reminds me of P. Diddy, how P. Diddy mistreated Cassie. We And you've probably seen the video of him beating her from some years ago. And he was just saying how the man, his ability to be mean and, and just cruel. It just made me think of P. Diddy. 40 days. Well, what, 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 what about my husband? I don't know your husband, but I ain't going to change what I said. I said what I said. He said, I said what I said. I agree with what Bishop Wood, and I guess I agree with what he's saying. I don't know. <laughs> you know, because it's hard to say. There's so many different types of people in the world. And he's saying that if a man holds a grudge that long it can and can go that long without touching his wife and just go 40 days, and he's going. <laughs> Y'all know what that means. <laughs> but in any event, I wanted to go over just a little bit of something else with you all. So this is something that I've noticed in the Black community. I don't know if you guys have noticed this before, but I've noticed for some years now, probably going on 10 years maybe, that there is a push in the media to push off the alphabet lifestyle onto Black people. I mean, I really, really believe that. You know that they are doing it in public schools and and I think there is an agenda, allegedly, all of this is allegedly, right? Allegedly <laughs> behind all of this. So check this out. You guys have probably heard of Billy Porter. And this is something from a few years ago. This is like almost five years ago. It says the, the government is pushing an agenda, allegedly, to the alphabet lifestyle. Look up the world depopulation agenda and Global 2000 and Dr. Henry Kissinger's push for homosexuality in the Black community as strategy to depopulate. And this is all allegedly. Remember, I said allegedly. And if you don't think that there is a push on Black men to be this way, I'm just going to just say, you know, I'm going to bring his name up again. And his name is P. Diddy and his so-called freak off parties, allegedly, I repeat, allegedly. And these are a lot of men involved, a lot of men men okay there's the party at the club the party at pdd's house the after party and the after after party so the people at the club probably didn't realize any of this 
stuff was happening, right? And the people at his house, but it was after party and after after party. That's what I heard. Of course, I've never met P. Diddy. Couldn't tell you anything about his parties. Only what I've heard. But this is Lil Nas X. And this is him in his garb. I mean, look at this. You know, this is him. And I'm not, I'm going to take it off for copyright reasons, but look at him, how he's sashaying. All right, the long hair weave. Look at this. This is definitely a promotion. Look at the nails. This is utterly demonic. It looks like it's going down into a deep pit. Look, this looks like a pit. It looks very, well, what would you call this? Satanic, right? Of course you would. Of course you would. So we don't think that there's a movement or an agenda, right? Well, you know, VP Kamala Harris, who's running for president, she said it herself. Check this out. When I was attorney general, I learned that the California Department of Corrections, which was a client of mine, I didn't get to choose my client. Right, a client of the attorney general. Of client. All right, you just heard this person's voice that's over to the left of the screen. This is clearly a biological man, okay? And he is dressed up like a female, has long hair, okay? And, and you see what's on the backdrop behind them, the so-called Equality Action Fund. And it wants to do what? And form the White House. Transform. Okay. It says the White House. We got to look at what's happening. And, you know, I got a message today from a, in a group message with someone who is an avid supporter of Kamala Harris, who I am close to. And Kamala Harris is visiting my loved one's church today, like right now. Just got the text message. And I was like, wow, hello, beautiful ladies, because I refuse to get kept, you know, pulled into some, you know, political debate of some sort. I still feel like this whole thing with the Democrats, I call them the Democrats, is just so satanic and diabolical. And if we don't see the similarities or synergy between the Democrats, Democrats, and this so-called movement, Hollywood, the music industry, they all promote this. They are one of the same. Why do Hollywood people and famous people always support the Democrats? They don't really support the Republicans in the same way, not the same amount. Every now and then you will get a celebrity that supports a Republican, but it's not like with the Democrats, not at all. But listen to what she actually ends up saying here. I know the attorney general of the office of attorney general, that they were standing in the way of, of, of surgery. Um, for prisoners. Uh, for prisoners. And there was a specific case. And when I learned about the case, I worked behind the scenes to not only make sure that that transgender woman got the services she was deserving. So it wasn't only about that case. I made sure that they changed the policy in the state of California so that every transgender inmate in the prison system would have access to the medical care that they desired and need. And I believe it was not only, I know it was historic in California, but I believe actually it may have been one of the first, if not the first in the country, where I pushed for that policy in a department of corrections. But when I was So she's pushing for it. And I can't find the clip, excuse me, where she said it's part of the movement to push the movement and the agenda. So this is something that they are pushing. They are pushing. They are pushing. And we see it very clearly. We see it all over the place. You know what the Bible says about this particular thing? It's in Romans chapter one. We already know what the Bible says about it. Let's revisit that. All right. So this is coming from the Bible. This is the New Living Translation. And this is Romans chapter one. Okay. Romans chapter one, starting at verse 18, it says God's anger at sin, but God shows his anger from heaven against all sinful, wicked people who suppress the truth by their wickedness. They know the truth about God because he has made it obvious to them for ever since the world was created. People have seen the earth and the sky through everything God made. They can clearly see his invisible qualities, his eternal power and divine nature. So they have no excuse for not knowing God. Yes, they knew God, but they wouldn't work worship him as God or even give him thanks. And they began to think up foolish ideas of what God was like. As a result, their minds became dark and confused. Okay, so we see right here, the Bible is saying that people don't worship God as God 
or even give him thanks. That's the first sign right there that this person's headed down the wrong path. They don't see God as God, don't worship him as God. And later it says that they begin to think of foolish ideas of what God was like. So then once that sets in, when they don't worship God or acknowledge the one and true living God, then they make up foolish ideas of what God is actually like. Then it says, as a a result, their minds became dark and confused, dark and confused, claiming to be wise. They instead became utter fools. And instead of worshiping the glorious ever living God, they worshiped idols made to look like mere people and birds and animals and reptiles. So God abandoned them to do whatever shameful things their hearts desired. As a result, they did vile and degrading things with each other's bodies. They traded the truth about God for a lie. So they worshiped and served the things God created instead of the creator himself, who is worthy of eternal praise. Amen. That is why God abandoned them to their shameful desires. Even the women turned against the natural way to have relations and instead indulged in relations with each other. And the men, instead of having normal relations with women, burned with lust for each other. Men did shameful things with other men. And as a result of this sin, they suffered within themselves the penalty they deserved so this is something that god is absolutely totally against and we know that the demon crap party is for it okay we know that kamala harris actually married two women there is a push for this she is on record on a video saying she had to push the movement the agenda she married two women like i said she goes to a church that performs these kind of marriages this is what we're looking at and so does tampon tim Yes, and that video I showed of who it looked to be tampon Tim dancing in leather, that's pr- that was uh, said to have been like a deep fake. That's really not, and I put it in the text below. It's not really him, but I thought it was kind of funny or whatever. But in any event, that is what's going on right now. I just wanted you guys to be aware. We need to be prayerful. We have this election coming up. We know that this is not something that Donald J. Trump is promoting at all in his platform. We as believers need to spend a lot of time um condemning other people's lifestyles. We just just need to spend a lot of time uplifting Jesus. And as we uplift the Lord, then he will draw them to him. Thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to like this video. It's very important that you like the video. Also visit me on X, Instagram, and TikTok. Also, I just want to let you guys know that I would love for you to visit C60 Evo. This is a health and wellness company out of Houston, Texas. They make the best organic health and wellness products for your inner and outer body. Check the link in the description and input the discount code chat with Linda or Linda B. You will not regret it. You will look and feel amazing. Again, this is C60 Evo. The link is in the description and don't forget to input the discount code. Well, thank you all for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell. You all be blessed. Love God, your families, these United States of America. And as they always say, March on Warriors.